This is my table covered in Lego base plates. And in this video, I'm gonna challenge myself to transform this empty space into a massive Lego theme park with working rides and attractions. The challenge begins now. Okay, so before we lay down a single brick, we need inspiration to building this theme park. So my first logical step was to book a plane ticket to Florida and go to an actual real life theme park that's literally made out of Lego. That's right. Legoland. I spent an entire day here doing rides, eating food, playing games, and almost anything you can possibly imagine. Ow, the Lego bricks are like poking my butt. But at the end of the day, I had taken enough notes and was satisfied with my experience. And the park is closing, so it's time to go back to the studio and get building. And now the time has come to add the first thing to our Lego theme park. What about a massive entrance where people can buy tickets and enter the park? Every theme park has one of these, like even Legoland did. I'm gonna start by building three ticket booths and inside Inside each one, I'm gonna put an employee that can sell tickets to customers. And once they buy a ticket, they can enter the park using these revolving doors that I built. And most importantly, every theme park needs a name. So what are we gonna name this theme park? After an hour of thinking, I thought of Hype World. It's kinda catchy, so we're gonna roll with it. But to make this sign look cool, I'm gonna build a miniature earth using a sideways building technique, a tiny rocket, and a trail of fire using a bendable wall technique. And when you put the three together, it looks like a rocket that's launching into space. And there you go, now our sign looks really cool. As people wait in line to buy tickets, I'm gonna add two palm trees to provide shade. And in the very middle, I'm gonna build a luxurious looking fountain that people can toss coins into and make wishes. Worst case, if you can't afford a ticket, you can just grab money from here. And just like that, our park is ready for business and it's time to add our first ride. What about a massive roller coaster we can put in the very back of the park? And thankfully before this video, I ordered a bunch of track pieces. So we're gonna be chilling. To make this roller coaster really extreme, Stream, I used a sideways building technique to add a 90 degree drop. Then to go on the tracks, I built three separate carts that can seat a minifig. And to make this roller coaster actually function like one, I'm gonna nope. attempt to build a simple mechanism that will pull the carts to the top using this long chain and also this motorized Lego piece which hooks up to a battery and can actually rotate. Okay, here we go. Oh, let's go! Yes! Wow, at this point, I don't even have to manually push the cars to the top, it just goes on its own. But even at this point, the ride still feels a little boring, so I'm gonna add a spaceship, astronaut, and three different planets in different sizes throughout the ride to give it a cool outer space theme. Oh yeah, also, I added a camera that takes your picture on the ride. <laughs> And just like that, our first ride for this theme park is completed, but we just started and we need to keep adding more rides. What about a Ferris wheel? I'm gonna put it on the left side of the park next to the roller coaster. I'm gonna add four passenger seats, then another motor to spin it, that way I don't have to. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's go! And there we go, now we have a second ride that can help bring even more people to the park. Nice! What about a ride where you sit in a chair and swing above the ground? I'm gonna start by adding a motor on the bottom of the ride that will rotate the swings, then a larger tower with lights, and I'm gonna use this round bar piece to connect eight different chairs held up by chain pieces. And each one can seat a minifig. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, wow, that spins really fast, but at least it works. And at this point, we have enough rides to where we can open the park to customers. So it's time to speed build some minifigs. And just like that, now they can come into the park, enjoy these rides, and we can get that ching ching. But while these customers enjoy the rides, we need to keep making more of them. Another ride that I did at Legoland was this one that would randomly drop you. <laughs> So what if we tried building one of these in Lego? To build it, I'm gonna make a vertical pole and a platform with eight different seats that can go up and down. And to make it go up and down, I'm gonna use a string piece because I ran out of motors. It's time to torture these minifigs. <laughs> During my time at Legoland, I also remember going to one of the many food stands throughout the park and copping some delicious food. So what if we made a few to add to our Lego theme park? That way the people at this theme park can eat. This first one is a hot dog stand, so now people can be munching on some delicious glizzies. This second one is an ice cream stand with four different flavors of ice cream. And this final stand I'm gonna build sells hot and fresh popcorn. But the best part about theme park food is that we can make it extremely overpriced and get tons of money. And just like that, now we're super rich and we have enough money to build the next ride. At Legoland, there were also a lot of driving rides, like this one where you go on an African wildlife safari. Whoa, look, there's a lion. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm a little too old for this ride, honestly. So what if we tried adding a driving-themed ride to this park, like bumper carts? Hey you, build this Lego set for me right now. 
I'm gonna start by building three different bumper carts that can seat three different minifigs. Then in this empty spot of the park, I'm gonna build a large arena where they can go to battle. Fight! And there we go, we have another ride down. Okay, I just realized ever since we opened those food carts, people are eating and then going on the ride and throwing up. So the next thing we need to add to this theme park is a cleanup crew that can get rid of the mess. Clean up on oil five, please. And there you go, now they can get to work. Then I'm gonna add a bathroom to the theme park, that way if people do have to throw up, they can go here. When I was at Legoland, there were also lots of rides that involved water. So on this side of the theme park, I wanna build a massive water slide for mini figs. I'm gonna go ahead and build a tower with two massive slides going down. And at the bottom of each ride, I'm gonna add a pool of water. No, like actual water, guys. Bruh. And now, it's time to test each slide. Okay, slide number one. And slide number two. Yes, sir. And okay, that worked out pretty well. I also ordered these transparent round tube pieces, and if you connect them together, you can make one long tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it into another water slide. Okay, here we go. Nice. And just like that, we've now added a water park to our theme park. When I was at Legoland, I also tried carnival games, like this basketball one. And I've gotta say, I'm probably one of the best in the world. Are you guys watching? I got the J's on, so I'm gonna make this. <laughs> oh crap, my bad. We have one final empty section of the park left, so what if we fill it with carnival games? Starting with this first one that I've seen at theme parks, and pretty much you have to climb the top of this rotating ladder without falling off. Come on, make it. Let's go. Come on, come on. Yeah! Let's go! Well done, here you go. And next to that, I'm gonna build a basketball game where you can win four different prizes, including a PlayStation 5 and two basketball hoops. That way people can shoot some buckets. But obviously, it's a carnival game, so the chances of actually winning are extremely low. So unfortunately, this guy won't be getting his PlayStation. And the final carnival game I'm gonna build is the Strength Tester, where pretty much you hit this plate and you try to see how high you can make this piece go. Okay, and I think the carnival looks complete now. Now at this point, our theme park is almost complete completed, but it's time for a quick speed round of some final touches to add to it, including garbage bins, a few benches where people can sit down, several trees to add some nature to the park, security officers to make sure nobody commits an illegal building technique, and finally, like a lot of theme parks, I'm gonna add random mascots and people in costumes. And the final thing that every theme park needs is a merch shop. Legoland had one, and when I went inside, it was full of tons of different Lego sets and other Lego merchandise. Hey, yo, this backpack low-key got that drip, though. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna build a merch shop in this final empty section of the park and just like that now we can fill it with merch okay so this shop sells mugs hats rubber ducks water bottles action figures and t-shirts and there you go now we have a shop where people can buy souvenirs and get dripped up in merch to flex in front of their friends and finally after several days of traveling and even more days of building our lego theme park is finally completed Woo! it is finally finished people welcome to Hype World, the most hype place on the planet. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. I can finally go touch grass now, guys. Comment below where you want to see me go and build in Lego next. That way I have an excuse to go on vacation. And thank you for watching. See you later. My heart's like a Lego set, please don't break it. I don't like mega blocks, please don't fake it. Everything is lit, yeah, everything is awesome. I know the legal tricks, yo, and we never stop it.